Good morning, folks, and happy 4th of July. We don't have much in the way of fireworks from the sun, but we do have things to notice in space weather. We'll also hit the hurricane, earthquakes, last night's video, the scar on Mars, and swirls on the moon. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where solar flaring is low. Eruptive activity is minimal. Sunspots are numerous but not terribly complex, and so we're left monitoring the plasma filaments as the top eruption threat. You may also recall a minor glancing blow CME was expected, came a bit late, and is in fact impacting this morning. Minor indeed. This type of solar wind enhancement shouldn't produce any geomagnetic activity. We'll monitor it for development, however, over the coming hours. The plasma filaments are numerous and, as I said, are the primary eruption watch. The thin ropes are facing Earth and incoming from the left side there, with the largest of the sunspot groups beginning to depart. It is the only eruptive concern at this time, but we will also note the southern coronal hole. One must observe that the coronal holes have been much smaller this cycle than previous cycles. will be interesting to see if that continues as we enter the second half of sunspot maximum and the declining phase over the next one to three years. Folks, here's a quick look at a few satellite wavelengths of Hurricane Barrel crossing Jamaica yesterday. Nobody really knows what happens after it hits the Cayman Islands. Will it stay westward tracking or bend north towards Texas? Eyes on it as the weekend arrives. Quick look at seismicity, where a swarm at Cascadia has definitely caught my eye. Now, these do tend to happen sometimes, but... Each time is a concern for preparative activity at the terribly dangerous fault system due to release a megaquake off the U.S. West Coast. Definitely have some spare focus for that today as well. For those who caught last night's video, yes, the Died Suddenly team is working with me to make a documentary on the disaster cycle. For those who hadn't heard that news or misunderstood that video, no, I am definitely not asking you to go talk about the catastrophe, but in a few days I'll be asking for your help in giving us the tools we need to tell it in the best way it has ever been told. Wrapping up here, starting with Mars, this scar is perplexing scientists as they don't know when it formed or what caused it. They suspect magmatic activity, and I really can't argue. But do you remember when Mars was supposed to be geologically dead? So much for that. And last but not least, wagging my finger at these scientists who are trying to suggest that the moon swirls are magnetically driven from magma below. The existing studies on solar wind creation are sound and lack the speculation shadowing the work of this team, most likely pieces of a great solar blast of plasma from long ago, but they'll do anything to keep those ideas out of your head, won't they? We greatly appreciate your support, and in a few days we'll be asking for it in a big way. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.